It's been one week since the car belonging to RIT student George Delaney was found on the side of the road in Wayland, Steuben County. And as YNN's Ann Litty Luza tells us, finding Delaney has become one college professor's mission, and she's recruiting students along the way. It was last fall when Paloma Capana first met George Delaney. A great student. Uh, he comes to class on time, every time. He is prepared. He is ready to answer questions. Capana is a political science professor at RIT. On Tuesday, before the campus was made aware of his disappearance, Capana called on him in class. Just automatically, I said, Mr. Delaney, can you bring some sense to this issue? Expecting the calm voice of George Delaney. And so there was a moment that we all looked around. George is 21 years old, too old, Capana says, for Amber Alerts or nationwide search systems. Our efforts are to become the Amber Alert for George Delaney. Capana recruited several local college and high school students like Webster Schrader's Beth Gillis to set up a Facebook page and post flyers in Rochester, Dansville and Wayland, where George's car was recovered last Sunday. Hopefully the people that do receive them have the effort to take a little piece of tape and spread the faces, spread the word, get someone out there to find George. The search for George Delaney is starting to spread outside the Rochester area. This weekend alone, over 2,000 flyers went out, many to New York City and even Washington, D.C. It might sound old-fashioned to college students, but many activists that I know across this region are not necessarily on Facebook, and we want to be sure that they know. Gillis doesn't know George, but believes he would help her if the situation was reversed. And I want the workforce out there for George looking for me. And I know that the same holds true to any of my friends, anyone out there who isn't getting the amount of attention that their case really deserves. Anna Tiluza, YNN.